kinds of systems and make predictions about those different kinds of systems. <coughs> see. Uh, this, this equation had a strange prediction. Most of its predictions, which I haven't tried to describe here, but let's assume that they are there. They are there in the literature and have been tested. This equation made a very unusual prediction for the first time for this type of reaction. Its prediction was something like this. Normally, if you have a reaction, and energetically, it was sort of downhill, that if you change something so the reaction is more downhill, it goes faster. Change it more, still faster, and so on. And there are lots of experiments in the literature on the effect of that energy difference of products and reactants and its effect on the reaction rate. Many conferences used to be held on that. Well, in this case, the topology of the curves that I showed and the details of this reaction are such that there is a strange prediction that had never been made before. And that prediction was that the rate, oh yes, I'm using this in my note. That prediction was that when you made things downhill more, the uh, rate would initially increase as you went more and more downhill, but then it would go through a maximum and then decrease. It was that decrease which is completely counterintuitive, but once you look at the kind of curves that I drew in preceding slides and and sort of analyze them, you would see it was an, and that followed naturally from those curves. It also follows naturally from the equation. So this was one of, let's say, half a dozen predictions that was made, that there would be a turnover in rate as you change the nature of the reaction to become increasingly downhill. So it's like if you're on a mountain. The further you drop, the faster you drop. But here, in this t type of topology, when it got too much of a drop, you actually went slower. The details of the topology of those uh, parabolas. And I can explain that, e I think, easily. So that was what was unusual. And so, for 25 years after the theory, people try to test that particular prediction. They had tested other predictions. Those other predictions worked out. They try to test that prediction. And with certain exceptions, special kinds of exceptions, the prediction seemed to fail. And then finally, somebody designed a system which would avoid certain pitfalls, alternatives that occur, and confirm the prediction. And this was the slide uh, which became, in the field, world famous, uh, confirming that instead of everything going faster and faster, this is a log scale, faster and faster, eventually it turned over. I had often been asked, during those 25 years, when you made this prediction, the key prediction of the theory, and so many people didn't confirm it, Quite the opposite, they didn't find that. Weren't you concerned? Now, of course, when you develop a theory, there may be some theories that you're more confident about that are on sounder ground than others that you may develop. In this case, I felt that the development was so secure that in a sense it didn't bother me that people weren't able to confirm it. There were always some alternative possibilities that open up that one could explain it. But then when this experiment came along, it, they used reactants which avoided possible other occurrences of reactions that prevented the theory from being confirmed, and they confirmed the theory. Since this time, there have been many confirmations now, many different kinds of experiments. But for a while, this was a, this was a problem. In a way, I singled this out not only because of the novelty of it and how long it took, 25 years before confirmation, it turns out that this effect that occurs, this turning over, becoming slower, when a reaction is extremely downhill, 
is a factor that's important for the efficiency of solar energy conversion. And the Nobel Committee in their citation knew that and cited it. So here's something that took 25 years, but in a sense it was worth waiting for. Um, let's see now. This equation that I showed two slides ago has been applied to numerous types of areas involving electron transfers and transfers of other particles, numerous areas in chemistry. And this, this, uh, these boxes here are showing, intended to show that the theory started right around here, but then applied, but became applicable to many different branches of chemistry, whether it was uh, reactions at, at uh, metal electrodes or reactions at semiconductor electrodes or solvent effects 